Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And one of the tastiest parts or sections of the fish is the fish head, because you've got all those little oozy bits. You get to dig out the little crevices of meat. Locally, it's known as kepala ikan, and it's very popular to eat in Malaysia. And so today, I'm gonna take you on a fish head tour of Kuala Lumpur. We're gonna eat, I have three places that I wanna check out and share with you. Uh, we're gonna eat them one fish head after the next, after the next, and this is gonna be an amazing day of food in Kuala Lumpur and I'm gonna share all the fish heads with you in this video. It's just 9.30 a.m. right now. They're still sort of setting up. The fish heads are ready. They're preparing the fried chicken. Uh, this place, it's, I think it's officially known as Anwar's Fish Head Curry, but lots of people know them just as the Bangsar Fish Corner because it's here on the corner of the road, kind of in a little shopping plaza area. But the aroma, you can smell the, oh, by the way, this place is also very famous for their fried chicken. You can smell the aroma of the fried chicken. You can smell the curry leaves. Oh man, fish head for breakfast? You cannot go wrong. Fried fish. Okay, in the front. Both come the front. Okay, they want to get a, a photo of all of them, all the staff here at the front. Say welcome to, welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome to Anwar Blasar. Okay, one, two, three. Welcome to Anwar. Welcome to Anwar. Welcome to Anwar. Welcome to Anwar. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, awesome. They're all so friendly. Which um, part of the country? Uh, I live in Thailand. Oh, Thailand. Thailand. Yes. Okay. Thailand, in Bangkok. It's famous for 26 years. So it's been at this corner for 26 yes. years. 60 years. Wow. Very special to the curry, very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the curry, fish curry, very special. Hello. I know, I know, I know. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Are you Mr. Mr. Anwar? Yes, Mr. Anwar. Ah, very nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Anwar just served us a giant fish head and you can see it's just they like literally opened minutes ago there's already a line forming it's self serving with the, with the right with the fried chicken oh thank you fish chicken chicken you right uh, you you want the drumstick? Yes, please. You want the wings? Yes, please. Can fly in the wings. Okay. You want the thigh? Sounds good. Okay. You want the breast meat? Okay. Okay, four thigh. Okay. True, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Uh -huh. The cabbage, okay, great. Another guy. Ah. So I sent the district officer. And we have the pleasure to hang out with Mr. Dino who is awesome and we just met him as we arrived. So we got plates of rice, we got the fried chicken, um, and then yeah, the main event, the dish that we came here for, which is the kepala ikan, the fish head, which is prepared Indian style. Uh, that sauce is just rich and spicious. Oh man, I cannot wait. Okay, we gotta, we gotta set the fried chicken aside for now and move right in to the massive fish head. So the reason that a fish head is so tasty and so good is because there's so many different parts of the fish head to explore and so many different little crevices. You've got the cheek, you've got the, the upper head, you've got the bellyish section in the bottom. You've got all sorts of little crevices and crannies to dig out. I'm gonna start, let's let's just begin with that top top head of the, the fish. And, there's, and, and despite like being a head, there's so much meat. You can just see that it's just sprouting with meat. Just set some of this top of the head onto my rice first. Onto my plate of rice. Maybe I'll go in for some of this belly section at the same time. Oh yeah, there's so much meat on it. I'll add some cabbage to my plate as well. Okay, I'm going in for that, that fish head first. This is the top of the head, that chunk of fish. Mix it with the rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
the flavor of that curry sauce, just smooth with spices. You taste the, actually you really taste the, the curry leaves in there. The blend of spices is incredible. <laughs> And another bite that I can't wait to take is the fried chicken with some of that curry sauce. Mm. Actually, maybe the most common thing that everybody's eating here because it's quick and simple, just a piece of fried chicken with the curry sauce on top. <laughs> one more, one more spoon. Okay, tear into that, tear into that fried chicken. Oh, the entire, the entire covering of skin in one bite. Nice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that is the bite. Oh wow. The fried chicken is amazing. So well spiced. Wow. You can see the big tub of, of chicken which is marinated in a bunch of spices. And then it's deep fried so it has this like deep fried crust all over the entire chicken. Plus it's crispy. Plus the curry sauce on top. It's seriously tasty. Gorgeous. Oh man. The, the head, the head is one of the best it's things. Tentacles. And again, I think it is like marinated in similar <clears throat> spice blend as the the fried chicken. Inhale. <laughs> it has that same marinade flavor as the fried chicken. The spices in there, the crispy like outer exterior, and then it's just like soft and tender. Look at the size of that cheek. The cheek is huge. The entire spoon just disappears under there. Whoa. Look at oh that. Gosh. Dude, that's all one cheek. Oh, and I didn't even get it all. There's still more into the, <laughs> it like goes all the way to the eye. That is all cheek. Dude, that's a massive head. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, the spoon just like disappears under there. I'm gonna definitely take this opportunity to rehydrate my, <laughs> my fish cheek. A one biter. Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a scale. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm. The, the tenderness is out of control right there. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom of the fish head. Now starts the, the exploration. There's spits of skin. There's eyeballs. Oh, here's the here's the mouth. Can you see those teeth on there? Red snapper lips. Upper lip. Just be careful you don't cut yourself on those teeth. Oh, wow, that's like, just like jelly. The curry sauce itself was amazing. Um, and then all the staff, everyone that works here, Mr. Anwar, they're so nice, they're so friendly. Not only is the food delicious, but I think why this restaurant, this street food stall in Kuala Lumpur has such a loyal following is because it's so welcoming. I mean, this is, this is like a neighborhood stall and you just feel at home when you're eating here. Okay. Very much, you, Mr. Mr. Anwar. Very that was amazing. <laughs> amazing okay. and thank you for your hospitality. Okay. Well, that's Mr. Anwar yeah. and the new logo. Uh, and they were so nice, they refused to accept our payment. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much to Anwar's Fish Head Curry Bangsar Fish Corner. Man, that was incredibly good. We are moving on now to the next Fish Head Curry. We're on our way to eat the next fish head curry. You gotta get there before the lunch rush, so we're on our way. I know it gets packed, and they can sell out of the fish heads fast. One of the great things about KL Kuala Lumpur is that it really is a garden city. It's such a green city, and so we're right in the center of Kuala Lumpur, but we're kind of on the hill. I think it's called Tugu Park or something, uh, but there's a cafe here that's famous for their fish heads. Hello. Hello. So you get to the top of the staircase and all of a sudden it opens up. There's a parking lot of here, but you're just surrounded by jungle. It's so green. It's so lush. Um, and then they have, you smell the spices. There's a full buffet counter. Again, the famous thing to eat here is the kepala ikan, the fish head curry. And I believe that this version is gonna be more of a Malay style. So let's get straight to another fish head. When you choose your fish head, there are different prices for different sizes. And we met, what is your name again? I'm Hosey, Hosey. Hosey, yes. okay, and he watches our videos. How many size? Um, size the biggest uh, size, biggest, biggest size. Biggest size. Yes, please. Okay. 
Oh, nice. Sounds good. <laughs> That's fresh, very fresh. Okay. Fish. Warm, warm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, and then this finger. No. And then one of these. Yeah, and what, what is that sauce? This is um, like curry also. Uh, and then mix, mix. Ah, uh, oh, yes, mix so, soya. Oh, okay. Soya sauce, black soya sauce. Black soya sauce. Yeah. Sweet and sour. Ah. Mango. Green mango. The pink green mango. Okay. As a uh, celery. Thing. Wow. <laughs> to keep it warm. <laughs> this is fish head number two. This is an absolute beauty. And I like how they served it. Actually, the flame went out because we took so many photos. But they did serve it above uh, a flame uh, to keep it hot because it's so big. There's so much uh, curry sauce. I love how they added that extra curry sauce on top as well as the green mango shreds all over it. That's going to add a uh, another twist dimension to this fish head curry. And he said that it's a mix between Indian and Malay style. It's like the fusion of Malaysia with a fish head in your pot. I'm gonna just kind of part the part the, the okra. And um, this is the eye. Look at the size of this. I'm gonna, I think actually the easiest thing to do is again go for the top of the head there with those those chunks of fish that are just gonna flake off. Oh, look at that, look at the amount of meat, the head meat on there. And what I especially wanna do is go in for some of that, that green mango and just kinda mix that. I'll go in for some of the tofu, um, some of the green onions and all those herbs and stick this onto my, my rice. Wow, you gotta really maneuver. You gotta really work your way around this fish head. <laughs> yeah, I got some of those shreds of green mango. That's an awesome touch to it. Oh wow, oh that is stunning. Oh the green mango, that like burst of natural sourness. This is, again, you can taste the curry leaves. You can taste, I believe it's a jolt of also sourness from tamarind, almost like a fruity taste. The fish is like firm and fresh. Wow, that sauce is unbelievable. Look at this, that meat just blooming, blooming out of the fish. Ooh. Wow. That curry sauce is good enough to drink. Okay, I'm gonna try that tofu, and you can see that tofu is just like saturated with the curry sauce as well. You could actually squeeze this tofu and, and curry sauce would come out, look. <laughs> that just juices with the curry sauce, so fragrant. What I love about this is that sourness that goes along with all the spices in that fish curry. Really, really incredibly good. Okay, I'm gonna move back in, grab some of that. Look at that, the entire cheek again. It's huge. Oh, and there's also, um, uh, eggplant in there and the tofu and again you could just so easily just drown your rice in the curry it's just so unbelievably good I'm just gonna take a whole chunk a mandible is that a mandible okay this one is the this one is the cheek right here that's the cheek bit just kind of skim your thumb through get all the bits of fish the gooey bits the the gelatinous bits, the, the gummy bits, it's all good. These are curry leaves. Bean sprouts in here. There's winged bean, there's chilies, and there's shallots, I believe. And I think it's like a, a fish a fish sauce. I'll put some of this onto my rice. I know my rice is pretty much doused in the curry sauce already. It's all drowned out, but that's okay. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, the coconut in there. And really taste the shredded coconut. That is like amazingly refreshing and just a totally different taste. And then finally, one more dish we just had to try is the, the this type of shell. Um, is it a seashell, Yun? I believe so, right? I think it's a seashell. And what you're supposed to do with these shells is just kind of suck, suck the top so that the little, the little shellfish, the little shell just like, just like plops out into your mouth. Oh yeah, got it in one go. Oh, that's wonderful. Like a little, squiddy textured 
a little shell and then you taste the lemongrass in there. Another section of the fish head that you don't wanna miss, I will rehydrate it, <laughs> is the eyeball. So we're gonna look at the size of that eyeball. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually let me get, I'm just gonna kinda, whoa, look at the amount of jelly material. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that just melts in your mouth. There's so many jelly bits. And then the actual eyeball is like a hard little, can't even find actual eyeball. Usually it's like a hard little marble. Mm. I just got like some the socket material. And then just to garnish, got some vegetables, there's some lettuce, there's some cucumbers. And this is a, a sambal, I believe, with shrimp paste, as well as a dark soy sauce with chilies and shallots. Here's another move that I saw from the, the guy sitting at the table next to us. Dude, you gotta try that. Oh, okay. Mm. Which one hits first? Mm. Those chilies are so nice. Mm. There's like tomatoiness there. Oh, and then the peppery curry and then the creaminess of that fish meat. Whoa. All that's left is the main like head structure bone, some the jawline, and a little bit of extra sauce, but that sauce is so good, you're gonna wanna drink it. Okay, time to wash my hands, and then also, they give you this little, this little card. We got table number, we got table number, is that 189? Oh no, 189, no, that's 189. That's about how good your orientation will be after eating that fish head. <laughs> I can't believe it. That, like one of the 10 best meals in the past year. I mean, easily. The total price came to 144 ringgit, which is pretty expensive, but we did get the largest, most gigantic fish head that they, they had for the entire day. You can get smaller fish heads for only 45 ringgit, or 55 or 65. We got the 120 ringgit fish head, but it was so worth it. Uh, but definitely a dish like that you should share between a number of people. You should share it between more than two people, <laughs> two. like we did. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ying had a little bite, but she was already full from the last meal. But you could definitely share that between like four or five people and still be very, very happy. Uh, but that was so worth it. This is an amazing, an amazing restaurant. And again, I cannot emphasize the relaxing state of mind and relaxing state of stomach that you will be in when you when you eat here because it's so ah yeah the fresh air that was amazing all right that was amazing all right we're driving over to an area of kale called pudu which is very a very chinese area of the city <laughs> Oh, they have a, oh, okay. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, awesome. Uh, restaurant number three, totally different style of fish head. This is not a curry, oh, but this is more of a Chinese, uh, well, it is a completely Chinese steamed fish head. Um, they together with the body, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, and the body also? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Moon yeah, moon key. Ah, moon key, yeah, okay. moon key. Uh, Sweet potato leaf, or kang kong. Uh, maybe kang kong. Kang kong, yeah, Sweet. spicy one. Awesome. Okay, thank you, thank, thank you. you very thank much. You. Is that six different types of fish heads? There's the black bean, the asam, the clear steam, the ginger, the sambal, and the nyonya. I thought the nyonya would be really interesting because that's the Peranakan, that's the um, Malay Chinese version. Uh, but then he said that that's totally out. They ran out for lunch, so we missed the lunch rush. Uh, but we ended up ordering the clear steam fish head. Uh, that's another one of their specialties, and that's gonna be totally different from what we've already eaten today, the fish heads that we've already eaten today so far. Fish head number three has arrived, and this is exceeding my, what I even had imagined possible as what is considered a fish head. They like include, I think <laughs> like they only take off the tail basically. <laughs> Just solid fish. Uh, you can smell the ginger, the chilies. It's very like light and refreshing and aromatic. Uh, yeah, it just looks like very clean, very beautiful Chinese style steamed fish. Oh, it's so juicy and you can see, look at that flesh. Okay, you're gonna, you are gonna have to be careful of bones here, but look at that white meat and then the juice. Onto the rice and let me get a little more of that juice. 
Imagine you take a leaf and a branch. Okay, yeah, so be careful of the, the bones though. Mm. Mm. It's so, yeah, so clean and light tasting. You taste the soy sauce, you taste the ginger, and I like how there's a few sliced up chilies to give it some heat. It's so juicy because it's steamed. They are definitely stretching the, the definition of a fish head here, serving you the entire body along with the fish head, and I'm totally okay with that. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice this, but I think it's just the half a fish. So you get more meat on the body, but then it's split down the, the middle, so it's the half a head. Oh, that's perfect. And then you can kind of navigate your way around, grab some of that head meat. You can see the, the head has quite, that skin is very thick and like blubbery. Mm -hmm. And you know what else we can, you can taste the Chinese wine. Is it plum? I was gonna ask. I think the wine think in there. it's plum or wine? I think it's right, maybe rice wine. Ah. You can taste that slight like wine flavor in there along with the soy sauce with the steamed ginger. But yeah, the ginger is what really is the key uh, flavor defining ingredient in this fish head. They have a side little bowl of raw garlic and raw chilies which I will go ahead and sprinkle onto my plate of rice. That's gonna give it some extra kick. Oh, I'm going in for the ultimate bite. And I think I'm gonna add one more scoop of that incredibly delicious uh, steaming sauce. Full flavor overload. Oh yes. That's delicious. The fish again is so fresh. Um, it's, it's so lightly flavorful and just emphasizes the, the natural flavor of the fish. Okay, the next dish we got is the steamed chicken and this is called a kampong ayam, which is like a village running chicken, steamed with a ginger sauce on the side. Dip it into the, the ginger sauce. Oh, that looks incredible. Mm. Oh yeah, that is incredibly good. Oh, the chicken has a perfect texture, that free running texture. Slightly chewy, but full of flavor. And you can taste the sesame oil in there and that ginger sauce. The ginger is just like completely crushed. The oils have come out. Mm. Oh, the chicken is incredible. Yeah. But I'm always a huge fan of steamed chicken with the, the ginger sauce. It's, yeah, it's a great, great, like, just a great dish. Finally, the Kong Kong, which is the, the uh, water morning glory stir fried with sambal. And I think there's some shrimp paste in here too. Mm. Mm. Always one of the best dishes to order, vegetable dishes, when you come to the Malay Peninsula. You taste the shrimpiness of it. And you can really taste the, the smokiness of the wok on that, in, the, in that vegetable as well. There's always a massive chunk of meat right on the top of the head section there. Look at that. Rehydrate it a little bit. This is a move I just cannot resist doing. <laughs> the rehydration move. Yes. <laughs> I have to admit, when he set down the fish head in front of us, the steamed fish head, I was a little bit like, like wow, that's, that's pretty big. That's a lot of meat on there. But it, it, somehow it just kinda, kinda disappeared on us. That was so easy, it went down so easily. It was so like, <laughs> just refreshing even though it being our our third fish head in a row it just it just went down and that was incredibly delicious again as you can see just a completely different style of a fish head this was not a curry this is a steamed fish head chinese style and again i just cannot emphasize what a joy it is to eat in malaysia because of the diversity of flavors cultures and cuisines that make up malaysia and kuala lumpur this has been a joyous day of eating fish heads in Kuala Lumpur. This was not a comparison video. I had no intention to tell you which one is the best because they're all so different and they're all so incredibly good. Uh, but my aim of this video was to just give you a tour uh, and to check out some of these 
some of the best fish heads that you will find in Kuala Lumpur and just share them with you. So I will have all of the information in the description box below so you can check out, you can eat at all three places uh, in a row if you would like or spread them out between days. Fish heads are truly one of the tastiest sections of a fish and that was a wonderful day in Kuala Lumpur. So I want to say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Kuala Lumpur. See you on the next video.